Hey man, I'm so thankful for all the support you guys have been showing, bro. Not only to the series alone, but to my channel. We just hit 5K. That last video on 2K23 was a banger. But listen, the streak's been asking for the 2K14 like every day of my inbox. Y'all be hitting me, bro. So I'm here. But y'all wanted to know my signature skills, my jump shots, some of my packages. And I didn't think they was that special, but I am showing you guys in this video what I currently have equipped to my player. I'm somebody that likes to change around a lot. That's why it's hard for me to answer a lot of you guys' questions. I apologize. But here we go, bro. If you got to pause it screenshot it do what you got to do also here's my attributes now i haven't really changed much since i made the player i felt like i was already a little bit over the top at 81 overall getting drafted even though i feel like that's what the current players are but nonetheless we got a game coming up against the portland trailblazers i'm getting 40 minutes a game which in my We're opinion to is a little too much to next level baby come on now let's get fired up here we go man i ain't gonna lie i don't know about y'all i do not be getting fired up listening to that <laughs> my player bro but nonetheless we got a game against dame and listen y'all know dame been in the rumor mills since 2020 since 2010 bro now i'm joking bro been requesting a trade and then not requesting a trade forever but we're going against the trailblazers and off the rip i always like to find my big man claxton i'm not gonna lie to you guys we've been winning games primarily because of him bro i haven't been even been playing great but one thing i know how to do y'all i know i'm gonna get to that post mid-range fade away i'm telling y'all every time bro get your post fade away up in this game it's this point in the game bro we on a 7 on one pushing the tempo me i like to get the rebound and go all the way to the basket sometimes if i can't i like to find my teammates in transition like nick claxton bro i just told y'all bro is a beast in the paint now right here bro i just want to appreciate the gameplay dog like listen i know i saw a lot of y'all comments somebody was going crazy killing 2k23 and i don't really blame you the gameplay in the new 2ks are not that great but Bro, can we appreciate the fact that this game is 10 years old? And look how I'm moving, bro. I know a lot of this has to do with the modders upgrading a lot of stuff, which I genuinely appreciate. Again, we got to appreciate the modders as well, bro. I am not a modder. I want y'all to know that. I'm simply a guy with a vision of creating content with the modders work. I do do my own things on the new 2K as well. But at the same time, I just want to appreciate the modders work. And listen, I'm, ex I'm excited when I put these videos out, dog. It's so easy to play this game. Look at that layup, bro. Bro, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but like, things like this is what you see in the NBA. But like on 2K23, you can't really get that kind of animation, so it's tricky. But nonetheless, we digress from that. We on a 15 point lead currently in Portland, and we kind of dogging them. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, I, I thought this was gonna be more of a challenge. Dame ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like, man, I see why Dame requesting a trade out of Portland, bro. You gotta run from the grind after that. And right here, bro, I'm doing behind the back unnecessary dribbles, but I find Mikael Bridges open in the corner for the three. And that's kind of how this game basically went, bro. I started just finding my teammates. Listen, sometimes when you run a point guard, bro, and 2K, bro, you really got to look for your teammates. It's that simple. They get you the lead going, and when you get the lead going, then you could be a little bit more aggressive on the offensive end, which is exactly how I break this game down, bro. I really just started being aggressive after I got my assist up, doing backdoor cuts. My boy Spencer Dinwiddie, who I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I really look key when Spencer did when he traded. I'm not really the biggest fan of Spence. I don't know about y'all. Maybe y'all can comment that. But nonetheless, I'm, I'm gonna see how it goes. I ain't gonna. We winning games right now, so I ain't gonna request a trade for him. But I'm comfortable on this team, bro. And I'm comfortable really in this game. But I'm doing my mid range patented drifted fadeaway on Damian Lillard. There's really nothing you can do about it. You gotta take advantage of the smaller guards, bro. Hey, comment down below what some of y'all favorite moves to do in 2K, bro. This 2K, any 2K in general. Right here, I'm bullying Damian Lillard down low, like I just mentioned before. When you got a smaller guard, if you're playing guard out there, ladies and gentlemen, take advantage of the matchup, especially in this 2K. Now, I ran Damian a little over with my spin move. I said, you know what, Dame, come back. Get this face real quick. Please pause that if necessary. But I told y'all my favorite move in 2K of all time has always been the drifting mid-range shot, bro. It's the most unguardable shot in this game. I'm blocking, who is that, Eubanks shot out of bounds? I'm really just comfortable. I'm getting to the basket. Again, bro, I'm just fascinated by the animations. I have to take my moments to appreciate this when I'm playing it, when I'm looking at the footage, when I'm watching it back. I know y'all do the same right here. I find Cam Thomas in. Oh my gosh, yo. That should've went in. It was a goal 10, but that was, in, that was crazy. Now, they made us a billboard, the starting lineup of the Brooklyn Nets. It's looking clean again. Spencer Dinwiddie, I'm not really a huge fan, but nonetheless, I went again and went player of the game. Jordan player of the game, yes, wearing Nike shoes, I get it. And I pretty much had a calm game. It wasn't nothing crazy. I just got my teammates involved, played a little defense, got a little dunk action. But we on a little win streak here in Brooklyn, bro. I think we're on a five-game win streak at this point since I've joined the team up, and it's lit. Now we coming back home for the home opener. I upgrade some of my stats a little bit. Get slow it down and pause if you have to. But nonetheless, we're going against Jawick. That man, the shooter, the Uda, 
And we got Marcus Smart on the Grizzlies as well. Hey, I put Marcus Smart on there. We know the trade happened. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. This was a big test for us, dog. We playing against a good Grizzlies team. And we started off not setting the tone right. I tried to find Cam Johnson open. He break. But so did Desmond Bain. So I'm coming down the court getting the offensive rebound. I said offensive, defensive. But this is offensive. Oh, my gosh. Yo, I don't know how that was a red release. But this Moki was one of my favorite moves I've ever done, bro. That was too buttery. I just like buttery moves like that. And speaking of buttery, John Morant buttered my toast right there. And I don't know what that really means, but we're going to go with it. Right here, I find Nick Claxton missing the easy layup down low and then missing another one. And I, I ain't going to lie. That, that, that's kind of how the game went for my teammates. But as for me, myself, I... I told y'all I get to my mid-range shot by any means necessary, man. It's it's, it's a mandatory, it's must-have. Hey, if you're watching this right now, still, bro, comment down below what point you at in your mind career, dog. I know a lot of you guys are watching this because you're playing the game, and I think that's dope. So let me know how your games are going, what team you're on, and all that. But right here, I'm finding Nick Claxton in the post. Nick Claxton, Nick Claxton, it don't matter. He's going click clack, making the shot right here in transition. I see Dinwiddie with the ball. I usually don't think he's gonna pass the ball, but I'm like, you know what? Let me kind of get open. He passed it. I say, yo, let me reward you, bro. Hey, I am in low key the most improved three point shooter, dog. I used to not look at the three pointer in Detroit, but ever since I came to Brooklyn, I made it a point to get my three point shot up. And speaking of three point shots, you know John Moran, not the greatest. I ain't gonna lie, John Moran shot a little better from the three this season in real life. But nonetheless, speaking of shooters, let me get the ball back. Low key, if I make this, I got takeover. I got takeover, bro. Don't let me hit threes. I already got the mid-range down packed now. I'm more aggressive on the offensive end. Y'all remember at the beginning of the season, I really wasn't that aggressive shooting the ball. Now, I'm getting more involved offensively shooting-wise. I feel like I have to, bro, because, you know, whoa, bro, this has to be the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in 2K, bro. I am so on fire. I just passed it off a Tyus Jones deflection, and it went in the basket. But I come back in the game, and we're down by 14. Now down 10. And then I got Luke Kennard hitting me with a crazy move and then spraying me in my face. I kind of saw the vibes of this game after that point. We were up by double digits when I left in the first quarter. I came back. We're down double digits. I tried to rally the team right here. I see Dinwiddie getting the and one. I don't know what my coach neck is broke. I don't understand the that. game trying to make something happen. So right here, I got John Moran on me. I see the play. I'm trying to go for the screen through Nick Claxton, but it don't matter. I find my boy Bridges wide open for the three. We low-key rallying, but we down seven. But, bro, I get hit with the meanest brick wall screen from Jaron Jackson Jr. John Moran took advantage. He had me and Claxton supremely lost. I ain't going to lie. John, John was with it, bro. Ja was freshly with it right here Tyus Jones sprays me for three I didn't even think I gave him that much room but that's what kind of game it was my boy Cam Thomas off the bench bricking wide open threes and then it's 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 not looking good right now bro we down 17 right here going into the fourth quarter almost at the end of the third I try to get the team going bro I told y'all I wasn't really struggling that much I did have a rough patch in the third quarter but it didn't really matter either way Memphis was not missing their threes unlike when they played the Lakers in real life when they couldn't buy a three but you know what <sighs> we had an easy fast break and moments like that are just like you know what it's just not that game you feel me like this thing y'all know this game's in 2k we just like you know what like look bro my boy Cam Thomas just straight up glitched couldn't even catch the ball off my double team and it just going into the fourth quarter we had absolutely no man momentum and I get blocked on a dunk I don't even know if that's ever happened to me at this season and then Luke Kennard is looking like John Morant 2.0 and yeah I, I just knew it was over we down 23 I'm just throwing in random shots at this point, but I'm working on my game. I'm like, you know what? It's going to be my first loss in a Brooklyn uniform. I might as well go out in style and fashion. I don't know, bro. It's crazy. Oddly enough, bro, the team actually started to rally and make shots when we're down 20, bro. Like, why why, why, why does that happen? It happens in real life, too. People all of a sudden know how to shoot, know how to pass, know how to play defense. When the game is basically over, we down 19 right here. Jaw thought he was playing great defense, but I kind of hit him with a speed glitch. That was kind of crazy. I ain't going to lie. When we end up losing the game, by 19 and i ain't gonna lie it was kind of crazy this was my home opener and it was the first loss we were on the road for so long and guess what y'all i couldn't leave y'all off on the loss bro we got to hit the road right back man listen i'd had a great performance it wasn't enough so now we're going to philadelphia and getting revenge bro i'm ready to get my win back close this out in style i'm going against james harden 
kind of low key need a new James Harden phase, don't I, bro? He ain't had the Mohawk in a long time. Nonetheless, it's still the James Harden we know and some of us love today. Not me, but some of y'all love him. And I ain't gonna lie, he, he, he low key came off like, yo, all right, I had to get, I had to get right, I had to get right. All right, here, Nick Claxton gets to the free throw line. I'm thinking like, all right, I gotta figure this out. I'm rubbing my hands together. Meanwhile, Nick Claxton at the free throw line. Bro, he building a house. He brick broke free throws. And then I, I, I'm not going to lie. My defense was off. I left James Harden wide open. He out here celebrating. I was like, you know what? Nah, nah, nah. I cannot let that happen right here. I got De'Anthony Melton on me. I don't even care. I'm shooting right over him. This is something I got to go through. I got to trust my shot in traffic. Some of y'all got to do this too, bro. Trust your shot in traffic. Test it out. And I tested it right there. I got it to go. I hit my boy with a nice behind the back. I missed it. Nick Claxton, a.k.a. Nick the Great, came and cleaned my mess up. And then right here. Bro, I don't know where James Harden was going. I hope he got frequent flyer miles because my boy was in the air. I hit him with that mean pump fake. And I told y'all, the mini is going to be cash, bro. Don't worry about hey, it. Hey, listen, do I have any Sixers fans, bro? If you a Sixers fan, what do y'all think Harden's going to do? Or what do y'all think the Sixers is going to do with Harden, bro? I really don't know. Now, right here, I give it to Nick Claxton. He's going right over the MVP fraud and beat himself. Let me stop. Let me stop. I don't want to get nobody mad. Listen, right here, I dub it right back to Claxton. He finds me going to the basket. Sometimes you got to feed it to your big man and they'll feed it back to you. It's a give and go. It's a eat and you eat too. I got to get up. I got 34 and a half. I feel like I can get a little higher, but I didn't really get that high. Right here, I do get the steal. I get the cookies. And in transition, I see little body James Harden. I'm like, you know what? I don't got no stamina and I'm going right over you with my left shoulder. Right hand dunk. Easy work. I ain't going to lie. I think I got takeover after that. I was feeling myself in Philadelphia. I had to get revenge. I low-key felt like this was my first game where I was super aggressive on offense. I hit James with crazy moves, and then the beat blocks me. I respect that. He got his teammates back, but he didn't get his back right here. I got Shake Melton on me. Oh, my God. Shake Milton, my fault. I've got it got Melton and Milton on the same team. What is this? It don't matter. Melton, Milton, Delton, Dilton. I'm going right to the basket, getting an easy layup. I told y'all, bully your guards. And right here, I told y'all, don't let me get that thing. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. They got me hitting threes in Philly. It's over. It's over. I got takeover hitting my threes now. I feel unguardable. Now, right here, the Philly wasn't laying down. I'm going to be honest. They, they was competing. But you know what? It don't really matter what they was doing. I had Tyrese and Maxi on me now. I'm getting that and one. I don't remember the last time I got an and one. I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. I feel like I attacked the basket in every video. But I don't always get to the free throw line. But I was bad at free throws, so it makes sense. But nonetheless, I'm going to hit my free throw right there. Complete the and one. I still got takeover. They send in the double team. It don't matter because why? Uh, oh, I guess it did matter a little bit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Cam Johnson, you, you, you sold me right there. But you know who didn't sell me? My jump shot. Bo. I feel like a shooting guard right now. I'm getting open in transition, hitting middies, coming off screens. Everything is going. This is my most aggressive and complete offensive game. And it doesn't stop here because I'm getting the... Yo. I told y'all. When, if and when I really become a consistent three-point shooter, it might be now. This might be my three-point era in art, bro. W character development. If you know, you know. And like I said, I'm going to continue to trust my teammates even if it kills me. And it almost did. But you know who I can really trust? Nick. Big Nick always comes through. I ain't lying. He had Embiid in his mouth. Like it, I, I, that sound crazy. Never mind. Scratch what I just said. Nonetheless, I'm finding Nick Clax. He going right over PJ Tucker, the three-point great, and he's getting it to go. And then, then Mikael Bridges is so tough, bro. I'm not going to lie. Get you a Mikael Bridges on your team. I don't know why I went up with a rim grazer and a wide open fast break, but nonetheless, it's a dunk, and it gets a replay, and we lit. Right here, we up 11. I'm getting double team crazy. I find Dinwiddie, instead of shooting, he actually takes it to the basket. What a concept. Congrats. Then Woody, thank you for the assist. Right here, I'm open to transition. And again, like, I'm going up with seventh grade middle school. Now, nah, let me not say that. I, I wasn't even dunking in middle school. Nonetheless, I got the dunk to go. Crazy, bro. I'm still getting double teamed out here. But you know what double teams lead to? Wide open rim runners. Did y'all see that pass? That might be pass of the year. I'm out here diming my teammates up. You know what I get in reward? I get plays ran from me. Whoa. I just got a clean mid-range play ran from me bro i could literally spam that and run that all game i'm hitting that nine times out of ten but you know what i'm not i'm gonna play smooth so i got cam johnson in the corner is he gonna actually reward me he is we up 11 at the end of the third quarter y'all know me when i get to the end of the shot clock the end of the game clock i get a little loose with it i got maxi on me he's right in front of me i ain't gonna lie but it's butter come on y'all 
<laughs> it's, it's a faded mid-range shot at the end of a quarter. Y'all know I'm hitting that. Starting the fourth quarter off, we up 11. And I ain't gonna lie, shit, shit, the, the shape Milton was, I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I did kind of doodle on him earlier in the game, but my boy kept Philadelphia right intact. I'm not gonna front. We getting later in the fourth quarter. I really had stopped scoring for a stretch. And I get my little baby mid-range, I said mid-range, mid-grade rim grazer dunk to go. And uh, I'm hanging off the rim like I actually punched it. I didn't really do too much on that dunk. Then right here, I'm trying to find my teammates. I see Seth Curry. Wow, what a great shooter, bro. He must be the best shooter in his family. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> right now, but listen, I see Seth Curry coming up yet another screen, and bro was locked. I ain't gonna lie. Number 30, that Curry dude, he tough. Real tough, bro. I just have to have a teammate that I could trust in the clutch. Right here, I see Dinwiddie. I'm like, you know what, bro? Just give it right back. I know you ain't even do nothing with it but dribble. But I got James Harden on me. And I'm like, listen, we getting later in the game. We only up four. I got to be smooth with it. Smooth is my middle name, y'all. Y'all know this, bro. I got James. Hey, listen, James, you an improved defender, my boy. But I hit him with all kind of dribble animations and speed glitches to get to the basket. But I told y'all, Philly was not going away. I ain't going to front. Only up three at this point. But then James Harden, I, I don't know what he was trying to do. He's trying to play patty cake. I don't know what he's trying to do. He throws it off Claxton's back, and we get the easy dunk. And then right here, my boy, Mikael Brooklyn Bridges. Bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, Mikael is like a prototype. Bro, he, 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 he's so he's so nice, bro. I'm not even trying to, like, glaze him or nothing. But that's a good dude right there, bro. He's so tough. He basically carries to victory right here. I gave it to him late in the shot clock. A grenade, and he launched it. And he got it to go. Put us up nine at the end of the game. I'm fixing my headband. I'm feeling good. We get the dub. Philadelphia really tried their hardest to keep this close. They sent me to the free throw line. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really gotta get in the lab with free throws. I've been saying it all year, but I forgot I really haven't been taking free throws. But for the second free throw, I barely, and I mean barely get it to go. And we end up winning by four. And listen, I am currently, I believe, 6-1 in a Brooklyn Nets uniform, dog. I know a lot of you guys voted for me to stay in Detroit. But listen, I'm curious. If you're one of those people that said stay in Detroit, how do you feel right now? Do you still feel the same way? Were y'all like, like a lot of y'all Detroit fans? Let me know. Nah, listen, bro. In the meantime, I really appreciate y'all showing support to this series, dog. We got a lot more coming. I'm telling y'all, all summer we locked in. I appreciate you if you leave me a like. It'll help the channel. Helps this video. Helps this series. If y'all want more, I need at least 50 likes, man. I know y'all can do that. But nonetheless, until the next video, I got more intriguing things coming in. Just stay tuned. Comment down below. Talk to me, bro. Love interacting with y'all. I'm out, man. Hey, go drink some water, dog.